We're in the greenhouse of a cannabis farm in Apopka. Now, you'd think that the owner of this place would be thrilled that recreational marijuana is one step closer to becoming a reality in the Sunshine State, but you'd be wrong. At the Chronic Guru in Apopka, Patrick O'Brien and his team use their low THC hemp plants to make lots of different products. For instance, these here are your sativa pre-rolls. So if you're looking for ease of use, that's a grab-and-go kind of thing. We have indicas, uh, sativas, hybrids. They also carry the more traditional items for this business. Where you will start getting into the flower side of things, mm -hmm. and that is top shelf. I mean, at the end of the day, and you're not paying medical prices is the thing. You don't have to do that. But while O'Brien's business is based on the bud, he says he's not for the proposed recreational marijuana initiative. He says it heavily favors large pot companies like TrueLeave at the expense of smaller independent shops. If they're going to open up rec, you need to make it fair for the mom and pop to get their foot in the door because currently, right now, we are light years behind anybody else in, in the United States when it comes to these bills being rolled out in an appropriate manner. The recreational marijuana initiative has cleared a big hurdle towards making it on next November's ballot, gathering more than the required number of necessary signatures. But O'Brien points out that the initiative is funded by TrueLeave and would only allow the few companies holding a state license to sell medical pot, like TrueLeave, to sell it recreationally to people over 21. They're locking this in for their own pockets, and that's the issue we have. People in the community say, in principle, they wouldn't have a problem with Floridians being able to buy pot the same way they can now buy alcohol. If people want to smoke it, they can, but I'm not going to. I would support the issue, even though I do not smoke that for, for uh, recreational purposes. O'Brien says if the initiative passes as written, Florida could stand to lose out on millions of dollars in new tax money. TrueLeave hasn't yet replied to our request for comment. In Apopka, Matt Treza, Fox 35 News.